Hi there, my name is Logan and I'm here to show you some of the places and spaces you'll be studying in as a student in the College of Arts and Sciences here at UM Flint. First up, we have French Hall. You're gonna be taking lots of different kinds of courses here. This is a music rehearsal room. There are both group and solo practice areas. This is kind of your standard classroom in French Hall. Right here we have Dr. Chris Douglas teaching an economics course. You could also take courses in stage makeup in classrooms like this one. And there are plenty of spaces to just hang out and get some work done, meet up with friends, or just take a break between classes. Attached to French Hall, we have the UM Flint Theater, which is a beautiful space to see a dance or theater performance. If you're interested in getting involved, you could work in the costume shop or behind the curtain designing sets in the workshop. This right here is the Murchie Science Building, and you'll take a lot of your science courses here, if you couldn't have guessed that. This is an active learning space for physics. You can work with computer science and information systems in our cyber classrooms. These rooms are pretty cool. They record every lecture, and you can go back and view them anytime online. Here's a chemistry lab. Students get lots of hands-on experience using laboratory equipment. And the same is absolutely true for our biology lab courses. Just like in French Hall, there are plenty of spaces to study and meet up with classmates. And Murchie Science Building is getting a 61,000 square foot expansion that is scheduled to open in winter 2021. These are the skywalks on the UM Flint campus. A great thing about UM Flint is that these skywalks connect many of the buildings on campus, so you don't have to go outside in bad weather a great option in the winter. So next up, we have the William S. White Building. This is an example of some of the food options available in the White Building. Spots like these are available across campus. If you're taking courses in communication or art, there's a good chance you'll have some of those right here in the White Building. The North Bank Center. North Bank has a really cool space in the dance studio with that exposed brick. I really like it, it's really creative. And again, for art students, there's this awesome area. So if you take courses in something like printmaking, you will have those here. We just talked about art. So if you like working with your hands, but you're not so much of an artist, you might like the engineering design studio. Lots of projects get worked on here. Here are some students working on their drone that they took second place in, in a nationwide competition. Uh, student groups like the Baja Off-Road Racing Team also work on their projects here. So this is a really great space to get hands-on experience working on real-world projects. When you're not in class, there's a good chance you'll be spending plenty of time in the library. It's a really calm and beautiful space that's perfect for concentrating on that big project or just making sure that you're staying on top of your studies throughout the semester. So that's a quick look at the buildings that you could expect to study in as a student in the College of Arts and Sciences here at UM Flint. There is plenty of campus that I haven't shown you, places like the University Center, the Pavilion, the Recreation Center, but I just wanted to give you a quick look. So if you're interested in applying, you can do so online right now at this link here on the screen. And if you have questions, you can always contact us at umflintcas at umich.edu.